that last point that Senator Booker was making there, that this nominee um, was chosen off a list, which is an unusual thing, right? Previous presidents haven't done this. But this president said that he would choose nominees from a list prepared by conservative interest groups. Brett Kavanaugh was added to that list late last year. What Senator Booker is saying, that he's the one person on that list who's explicitly and multiply on the record uh, talking about a president's liability to criminal investigation and indictment um, and saying, as Senator Booker said, that a president should not be subject to criminal investigation and cannot be indicted. Uh, if he's the one guy from that list of two dozen choices who's been explicit on that point, uh, is that the signal element that we should see here in this choice? Joining us once again is Dahlia Lithwick, senior editor and legal correspondent at Slate.com. Dahlia, to this point, um, is Senator Booker correct that Kavanaugh has an explicit, overt record on this subject that might have appealed to the president because of his own legal woes? I think that if the president were poring over the writings of every single person on his list, uh, Judge Kavanaugh would have given him most sucker. I want to actually just clarify one tiny thing, Rachel. I think it's important. I think in Judge Kavanaugh's Law Review article where he talked about this, he didn't say as a constitutional matter the president should be immune from all civil and criminal liability. He said Congress should pass a law to protect the president. Mm -hmm. So not that we think Congress is capable of doing anything in any sense, but I don't think he was making the constitutional point that is quite so broad that he, you he know. He was making a political he argument was make, exactly. that, that there, the impeachment of a president would, would essentially put a prosecutor in the position of supplanting Congress's responsibility to impeach. Yeah, I, and I just think it's important because I think it's, it's not quite as, you know, dispositive of this question as we like to think. But on your question, and I think it's so important, if you think about how much fire Brett Kavanaugh drew, Ted Cruz hated him, we had the whole Federalist was, was posting anonymous post after another saying, we're not going to be for Trump if he puts Kavanaugh up. Mm -hmm. What was the resistance to Kavanaugh? What was the resistance? So, I, you know, it's been really interesting to me because I thought for a very long time it was just that he wasn't a sort of religious conservative. This wasn't going to be the firefight that some of the evangelical community wanted. And now I think it's just that they're not completely certain uh, Ted Cruz has been warning all along he's going to be a suitor. You know, he's going to he's going to list to are the there any, But as an observer of these things, are there any indications in his record that he I mean, he's got more than 300 opinions. opinions. He's been on the appeals court for a dozen years and it's the D.C. Circuit. So it's lots of high profile cases there. Lots of very ideologically charged cases. He was Bush Gore uh, recount. Uh, Bush lawyer. He was a, a George W. Bush White House employee for more than four years. Like, what in the record? What in his record would allow conservative critics to see him as a squish? I have no idea, but I know that I was stunned at how they came out with the long knives against mm -hmm. him. And I think that Donald Trump was making exactly the calculus you and Senator Booker just identified. That if I have to figure out who to mollify here, I've got all these groups who are angry about someone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to pick the guy who said most expansively uh, in writings over the years uh, what the scope of presidential power is. And I think that in that sense, you see Trump not looking at the sort of landscape of who's, who, who do I need to satisfy for these upcoming midterms? Mm -hmm. saying, How do I protect myself? How do I me? protect myself? Again, let's just quote directly uh, Judge Kavanaugh from a 1998 Georgetown Law Journal article, quote, Congress should establish, as well, important to point that out, Congress should establish that the president can be indicted only after he leaves office voluntarily or is impeached by the House and convicted and removed by the Senate. That's Kavanaugh on the record saying there should be no indictment of mm -hmm. a sitting president. Mm -hmm. Dolly Lithwick here from Slate.com. Thank you very much. It's good to have you with us tonight. Thanks, Big Rachel. night. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.